everybody, I am Chantelle and welcome back to part two of Building the Bay. In the last episode, we went over what discs filled my putter, mid-range, and fairway slots. In this video, we will go over what discs I chose for my hybrid drivers, distance drivers, and X-series drivers. So, starting off with the hybrid drivers. These are drivers that fall in between the fairway and the distance drivers. I like this category a lot because they are a little quicker than the fairway drivers, but slower than the distance drivers, which I feel fit better for my slower arm speed. For my understable hybrid driver, I have been relying on the H4 V2. I got it in the 400 plastic and it's 173 grams. With this disc, I can hyzer flip it to flat and it has a really smooth glide to the right. I think I'll be throwing this disc a lot in the woods when I need that nice right carry or even when I need something really, really straight. I've also been throwing the H5 in 500 plastic, but I just really like the feel of the H4 V2, so that is definitely the one that I'm going to be throwing for my understable hybrid driver. Okay, next up is the H3 V2. I currently have two of these in my bag. One filling my stable slot and one filling my overstable slot. My H3 V2 in 500 plastic is 170 grams and I'm not sure if this plays a part to it but it is so straight and has a nice little finish to the left. I was very surprised when I threw this disc for the first time because the two other H3 V2s that I have thrown were very stable so it was just really surprising seeing how straight the flight was and how much glide it got. Leading to my overstable H3 V2 in 400 plastic. It is 173 grams and this one's much more stable than my other one. I can trust this disc in a headwind to have a really straight flight and that reliable finish at the end. It doesn't get quite as much glide as the other one, but definitely something that I'll be looking for when there is more headwind. I've also really been liking this H3 V2 for my sidearms when I don't need a ton of distance, but I want that little turn and fade. I'm definitely going to be playing with more of the hybrids in the future, but for right now, I'm feeling pretty confident with the ones that I have in my bag. Next up are my distance drivers. Immediately when I threw this disc, I knew it was going to be so fun to play with and it was going straight in my bag. The D4 and 400G plastic won the understable slot in my bag straight away. I can hyzer flip this to flat and have it ride to the right and it just goes forever. I love this disc for turnovers, it holds the line so nice and it never flips over too much and cut rolls at the end. This disc is one of the furthest flying discs that I have ever thrown. I'm actually really interested to try it in the 750 plastic to see if there's a little bit more stability. I would like to see if I could hyzer flip it and have it ride really straight instead of the turn. I think that would be a really nice disc to have in my bag, so I'm gonna look into that. So if you think your arm speed matches mine, I would definitely check out a D4 because I've been getting really easy distance with this because it is flippy. So I wouldn't recommend throwing it into a headwind, but definitely check this one out. For my stable position, I've been loving the D3 in 400G plastic. My favorite one in my bag right now is 172 grams, bright lime green, and gets the most beautiful S-curve ever. But what's really nice about Prodigy's distance drivers are the rims. They aren't too big. So if you have a smaller hand, they're perfect for that because when I throw a high-speed driver and it has that really wide rim, I just feel like I can't get that nice firm grip. This D3 is definitely my go-to driver. I also bag a D3 Max, and they fly basically the same. I like having two so that I can throw the same shot twice if I mess one up. So for my other stable distance driver, I've really been liking the Falcor. I think it's 400G plastic, it's really grippy, and the rim isn't too big. It's more stable than my D3, so I find that I lean on this when there's a bit of a headwind and I'm a little bit worried that my D3 is gonna flip over. It has a very beautiful flight and a reliable finish at the end. The D2 is a fast speed driver that I can rely on in any type of wind. The D2 and 400 plastic will be my overstable disc of choice when it's too windy to throw my D3 or my Falcor. I've also really been loving this disc for my forehand shots. It feels very comfortable in my hand and I can definitely trust it to come back when I force it over. I also really like throwing this disc when I need to do a big hyzer and need a lot of push to the left at the end. These drivers are solid and I'm really happy with this change in my bag. I'm not sure why, but I just seem to be getting a little bit more distance than I have in the past and it's really nice because I haven't really changed anything but my disc, so. <laughs> Next up are the X-Series drivers. The X in X-Series stands for extra speed. 
I currently have an X3 in 400G plastic that I have in my bag, but I haven't been really reaching for it just because I feel like I have a good relationship with my distance drivers right now, so I haven't really practiced a lot with the X-Series drivers. What I found with the X-Series drivers are that they're very, very slim. The rim is very shallow, and the rim is also pretty small as well. So I'm not sure if since how slim it is, that's why it is extra speed. It makes sense though. <laughs> Since I am trying to limit the molds in my bag, I have been sticking with the distance drivers that I have already in my bag, so I'm really going to be trying to go out to the field, throw some of these other discs that I haven't really tried to see if I like it because I haven't really thrown it, so it might be my favorite disc and I don't even know. <laughs> so there you have it. That is my full bag and I'm feeling really confident to just get out and play any course. Definitely leave a comment down below and tell me if I'm missing any discs in my bag that you think would fit really good with my lineup. Overall, my switch to Prodigy has been super smooth and I'm really excited about where my bag is at right now. No bag is ever complete, you're always going to lose one, you're looking for perfect beaten discs, or when there's new releases out you just want to try them. It's almost always a guarantee that my bag is forever changing, so maybe at the end of the year we will go over my bag again and see what has changed. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.